that reading is a complex task is a great understatement. Dr. Hollis Scarborough, decades ago, created a visual model to help illustrate the inner workings of this complex process. This model, known as Scarborough's Reading Rope, can be considered a metaphor used to represent the fluent and strategic execution of the myriad of skills that make up skilled reading, comprehension. Reading comprehension is the ability to read text, process it, and understand its meaning. This understanding relies on two broad interconnected abilities. Word recognition, which is the ability to decode the symbols on the page, and language comprehension, which is the ability to make meaning of those words and sentences. Two key words in that last statement, broad, meaning that each of these terms, word recognition and language comprehension, cover numerous related skills and interconnected, meaning the skills that make up these two broad abilities have to come together. Now, back to our metaphor. A rope, in general, is a thick cord commonly composed of smaller strands of similar material that are tightly wrapped or interconnected creating a strong, almost unbreakable bond. Similarly, the reading rope is two smaller ropes, each comprised of smaller strands of similar skills that intertwine into a consolidation of tightly developed skills that are needed to support strong reading comprehension. One of the smaller ropes is known as word recognition. This domain is comprised of three strands of similar skills. Notice that these strands start at the same point. That is to remind us that skill development in these areas happens simultaneously. We don't wait to begin one until the other is mastered. There are three strands or skills within this domain. This ribbon represents the phonological awareness strand. Within this strand, is housed the phonological awareness skills of word, syllable, rhyme, onset rhyme, initial consonant, and alliteration awareness, as well as the more advanced and discrete phonemic awareness skills, such as phoneme blending, segmenting, and manipulating. The next ribbon represents the decoding strand. This is where the work of the alphabetic principle and the spelling sound correspondences come into play. Here is where the work of matching over 200 graphemes to 44 phonemes takes place. Students have worked with the 44 phonemes through their phonemic awareness work in the phonological awareness strand. So now we add the visual work of the graphemes to work with that sound. The last strand deals with sight recognition. This represents the words that occur frequently in texts and or that do not follow phonetic patterns that have become part of the orthographic maps the students have stored into their memory. The goal is to essentially build such a strong sight vocabulary that students, while still noticing every grapheme in the word, can read that word without having to stop to attempt to decode it. These strands are mutually supportive, and with practice, experience, and instruction, these word recognition skills become increasingly more fluent. Now, let's begin the journey through the language comprehension strands. This rope, or reading domain, is comprised of five strands of related skills, and again, we notice that all strands begin at the same point, meaning that they are taught simultaneously at an age-appropriate level. The first ribbon represents the background knowledge strand. This is the content that students bring to a piece of text, what they already know about the type of text they are reading and about the topic being explored. This content allows for better connections to be made as readers try to make sense of what they are reading. While we do not have control over what our students bring in from outside the classroom, we can intentionally and purposefully 
provide opportunities to build their background knowledge within the walls of our classrooms. This next ribbon, the vocabulary strand. This is the age-appropriate bank of vocabulary knowledge that students need to make sense of the text. When students hear and use sophisticated words, their lexicon builds and they can understand these words when they are seen in print. Children's literature, including picture books, is abounding with resplendent vocabulary that is waiting to be discovered and shared. Reading to, with, and by children, coupled with classroom opportunities for rich conversations, will fill our students' ears and minds with rich, exact words. The third strand, language structures, deals with the syntax and semantics an author uses within their text. This involves an understanding of such things as sentence structure, word order, parts of speech, and punctuation, as well as how those things work together to convey meaning, which of course is the critical ability to comprehend while we read. Verbal reasoning, the fourth strand, refers to one's ability to use logic and reasoning while considering what the text says explicitly and what is implied. These skills require the reader to connect ideas, compare and contrast ideas, combine ideas, and verbalize thinking while trying to reach a conclusion based on what's known in the text. Finally, the fifth strand in this domain is literacy knowledge. This last strand is all about a student's knowledge of print concepts, ranging from pre-reading skills like turning pages and reading left to right, to more advanced skills like genre, author's purpose, and text features of fiction and nonfiction text. These strands, like the ones in the Word Recognition Road, are mutually supportive and with practice, experience, and instruction, strengthens the reader's ability to be more strategic while moving smoothly and accurately through text. So, students use their word recognition skills and their language comprehension skills together, becoming increasingly more fluent, strategic, and stronger. As skilled readers who use the strategies they have learned with great automaticity as they construct meaning. We, we hope this visual, visual demonstration provides a clearer view of how the reading rope helps us not only see the elements involved in learning to read, but also the process of execution and coordination of word recognition and language comprehension skills as they come together to create comprehension, the goal of reading.